Hello and welcome to this WOW Airlines trip report. Today I am starting off my journey at Bristol bus station and taking the Bristol Airport Express flyer to Bristol International Airport. Just want to say a big thank you to all my patrons out there. Thank you very much for supporting this channel and keeping it going. WOW Airlines launched an operated service from Bristol Airport to Reykjavik for two summers in a row before eventually cancelling the service. The service was cancelled because the airline stated that they struggled to make the route profitable. Which is a real shame as it gave passengers from Bristol Airport an easy way to connect to the United States. Today I decided to kill some time in the Aspire Lounge. The good thing about this lounge is you can pay for access from £21 on your day of departure. It's not the biggest lounge in the world, but does give you a nice place to kick back and relax. My flight was delayed a little bit, but that just gave me a bit more time in the lounge and I was watching my flight arrive on flight radar. Bristol Airport still maintains one unique little thing. You actually still board most of the flights. In fact, I think all of the flights via stairs from the tarmac. I know this is a fairly common thing, but still in 2018, it still amazes me. I know a lot of people hate it, but I do love the color that Wild Airlines paint their planes. It really stands out. The aircraft I was flying on today wasn't actually owned by WOW Airlines. It had been wet leased from Avion Express and painted in the WOW Air color scheme.
start to fasten your seatbelt sign, but we do recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened in case of unexpected turbulence. One thing that I do like about WOW Airlines is the fact that they do give you the option to pre-order meals when purchasing your flight. My pre-order meal today was the falafel meal with chickpeas on the side and I also went for an Icelandic beer. Good beer was banned in Iceland pretty much until March 1st, 1989, which is really interesting stuff when you read about it. It still amazes me that WOW Airlines only started operations in 2012. At the time of making this video, they currently have 18 aircraft in service and 4 Airbus A330-900s on order. selection and prices in the Wild Media Black Catalog. And to save you some time, we're also selling bus tickets uh, to Reykjavik City. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to stop us on the way. Thank you. We had started our descent into Iceland. expectations low for this flight with WOW Airlines as they are a budget carrier but overall I felt it was a pretty enjoyable flight and no complaints from me and I would fly on them again so thanks very much for watching my video on WOW Airlines if you enjoyed the video then please subscribe or leave a comment and if you really enjoyed it then please support my patreon account and leave a donation Thank <laughs> you.